What's, What's up, up fight fans? fans? Greetings from the Wrestleverse. It's your host, Billy here. And Lady J. And it's time to take, take it, it to, to the, the ring. ring. On this episode of WrestleCap, we will be reviewing NXT UK. Yes. Yeah, and on this episode, we have the Heritage Cup match. So we have the Supernova, Supernova. Dar versus A-Kid, the Spaniard. He's great. Yes, and this could be his chance to be the first two-time cup holder in NXT UK. Yeah, big deal. So Sam Garwell literally asked everyone from Steve Austin to Elon Musk, even Sir Paul McCartney, and the fast, fast food, food workers. workers He's like, like I need a, de- a tag team partner. Yeah, and then he ended up encountering Kenny Williams backstage. And he's like, chewed him out. By the ear. He's like, remember where cockroaches places on the food chain. <laughs> he's like screaming like a little kid. It was pretty funny actually. And Huxley ended up being his surprise tag team yeah, partner for the a- match. So the night starts off with Pretty Deadly mm-hmm. coming out. Sam Stoker and Lewis Howley, they are going up against Sam Gold- yep. Goldwell and dang Saxon it. Huskley. Yeah. <laughs> so now Pretty Deadly uh, thought it would be, uh, he wouldn't be able to find anybody, you know? And then they were kind of hoping it was going to be a handicap match. So. Oh, I bet they wanted right? it to yeah, be a handicap match. It didn't match. go their way. That's for they sure. play dirty. <laughs> <laughs> so Gradwell and Howley face off first. Gradwell's working him a bit, then yeah. Stoker tagged in and hit Gradwell with a sneaky takedown. Dude, sneaky, sneaky. So Saxon, he tags in and just beats Beat. up on Stoker, nails him with a big backbreaker, then a nice elbow drop, almost took the cover, but was broken up by Howell. Of course it was broken up. Now, Pretty Deadly is a much more experienced tag team, yeah. and it totally shows. Mm-hmm. Working Saxon in their corner, well-timed antagonists, isolating. Yeah, just really working them. You know, Huckley, he locked in a really nice, like, ab stretch oh. and just started working these ribs and elbows. I Big know, it was evil. He's just, like, screaming, really working them. Yeah, and so Saxon was able to counter out with a takedown, yeah. just pure strength. Yeah, lifts him up, takes him down. So uh, Gradwell finally tags back in. He's fresh. fresh. He lands like three or four clotheslines, taking guys out, big shoulder arms. And then uh, he tried to go for a big splash, but took a forearm on the way down. It was pretty bad. And of course, the roach, Kenny, he shows up, distracts Saxton, and then punches him off. And Kenny Williams beats the crap out of Saxton outside. Of- He's so tiny. I don't even yeah. know. <laughs> he, was, he was. Everyone was kind of surprised. He's just jumping on him. Yeah. Now, pretty, uh, pretty deadly. They take full advantage of this. And they kind of t- uh, spin up. They get him. They end up winning this match. They, their finisher, but their finisher is called Spilled to Milk. Yeah, it's kind of like it's funny. It really was just that too. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then we have this funky little promo with yeah. Ginny calling out a male, yeah. warning her. She's talking all kinds of smack. You know? Oh yeah. And then you have uh, Blair Davenport. She does like another uh, promo back. Oh yeah, she she's talks about ready. The title. She's coming back. Yeah. She's like, I'm gonna get you. Uh, but, uh, not uh, Sakamura, right? She's yeah. coming for her. That's yeah. going to be a good match. I'm excited for that one. So for the next match of the my, uh, night, we have Mackenzie versus Dawn. Isla Dawn so and her I white like, witch. Yeah, right? last week she stole a watch and she put it in like this little box that has like supernatural powers or something like that that gives her an advantage. She's it's, a witch. It's oh. slightly less cheesy than, you know, magic dolls. Yeah. But, uh, oh, dang. Oh, it was this was a crazy match. So at one point, they ended up locking in like a chicken wing. Uh, Mackenzie did. And it was like a and throwback okay. to Nate. He like named it the the rear naked chicken, chicken wing. wing. It's a great name for it. It's a modified chicken wing, but still really neat stuff. And then uh, Don came back, like throwing Mackenzie out of the out ring. of the ring. This beautiful German suplex, but wasn't able to get yeah. her superplex off that top post. Yeah, she kind of stopped it. So Mackenzie ended up countering, landed a great sunset flip. Uh, but it was, it, and then a big spear right after that was just a two count. So Don rolled away. She's like, let me get to take a break here and did this big cross body and gave a great, this fireman spinning slide slam. Yeah, it was, it was pretty crazy. 
So after she won, she ended up kind of returning the watch from her evil little evil box. Evil back. Yeah, here you go. Give it back. No big deal. But <laughs> it, it, it was some good ladies action. I. It, it yeah. was a fun match to yeah. watch. And, you know, look out for Dawn. She's an up and comer. She's got the, the witch stuff on her side. <laughs> so. The main event. Oh, this was a great main event too. I was super hyped for this one. It's for the uh, the Heritage Cup. Noam Dar yeah. versus A Kid. All yeah. right. So this is uh, A Kid's uh, chance to win the cup for a second time, and this could be a big deal. He'd be the first one to do that. All right. So here are the rules: mm -hmm. NXT UK Heritage Cup rules. Matches consist of six. Yep. Six. Three minute rounds with 20 second breaks in between each round. Mm -hmm. Then the matches are two out of three. Best two out of three falls. The falls can be won by pinfall, yep. submission, or count out. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of rules here. Mm -hmm. And then once a fall occur occurs, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the round ends and the match ends once a wrestler has won two falls. So it's very traditional kind of tournament rules, yeah. which is very unique to the UK. And I, I prefer, I like that, honestly. So round one starts with uh, Roman knuckle lock. They're kind of oh, testing yeah. each other's power. Dude, and then Dar like, ended up, he was yes. overpowered yes. and just got bent backwards. It was pretty neat to see. It to was like all the way down to the mat. Mm -hmm. I mean, Dar is much bigger than A Kid, but they're just as strong and yeah. smart. He knows how to slow down and wait for the right moment. That's that's one advantage A Kid does have. He doesn't rush things. So the crowd was kind of humming the Star Wars. I loved Darth it. Vader. I, I guess that was. Fun. And they're kind of drunk at this part. So they're like, da 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 da. I'm like, what? It I love great. the UK crowd. Yeah, it was so much fun. So the round one inch is zero zero. Yeah, zero, it zero. could finish up pretty well with a nice suplex, but nothing too crazy. Okay. Round two. Yeah. Okay. The round, this one really picked up the pace with some great grappling. Mm -hmm. A kid did this kick. Yeah. Still in a headlock. Very, very Yeah, he, he was in a headlock, did a kick up, got to his feet. But Dar was able to keep A kid down, grounded, which is like uh keeping him on there, not letting him fly Lots around. Lots of great arm locks. locks. Mm -hmm. And then A Kid locked in a very cool pin, but Dar totally rolled out and got yeah, to the ropes. It was like this backbreaker or something like that. And then A Kid got hung up on the ropes, and Dar totally missed a big kick and fell out of the ring. Yeah. And then, yeah, there he was. He throws up the pinkies. Oh, and yeah. In well, I want, it, was, it was like a. <laughs> Double bird salute a few times yeah, in this. It was, it was pretty cool. <laughs> so the, the next round, we got round three. It starts up. So Dar went for like this. Uh, Draping DDT, DDT. But the yeah. referee totally stopped it. Yeah. He was like, no, 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 no. Mm, yeah. We ain't going to have this. So Tar took the first uh, cover. But it was pretty much with a massive step up in Siguri. So 1-0 oh, going into round one four. 1-0. Yeah. It was solid. That was a mean kick. Round four. <gasps> Dar is out fast with this ankle yeah. pick but then kid bounces and jumps and lands with a flying arm bar it was yeah. beautiful works him so dar's quarter man ended up like pulling him out of the way when uh a kid was coming flying out and he, he missed like and he fell pretty it, hard it was mm, just in time i hate interference yeah then a kid took this round with 30 seconds left with this great moonsault holding dar's arms spinning yeah. him down what a it oh, was so cool. Was beautiful. So, so now uh, this means that Sean Dar's quarterman, or oh, uh, Sean yeah. Dar's quarterman, he lost a ton of money with this bet because apparently he said he's like, nope, you're not going to win any round or anything like that. So as soon as that happened, he just lost a ton of money and he was pissed. So it ends 1-1. Uh, they're tied up at this point. Round five. Now the bet was lost, mm -hmm. but he, the match isn't over. Yeah. Dar is dazed and yeah. slowing down mm -hmm. so ak came running out he's kind of he's feeling tired himself yeah. he was having to get ice down in the corner he's already pretty wrapped up from previous matches oh yeah he's those ribs going. were bad a kid stopped dar on the top post and landed this great spinning <laughs> suplex body slam thing yeah i don't know what it was it was kind of a superplex but he spun into a body so it was really neat to see so the last minute of the round was amazing some great grappling some great counters arm bars, bars knee bars, bars guillotines great german <laughs> suplex i mean a kid he locked in like this rear naked chokehold right towards the end but uh, so the round gosh. ends with the clock running out yeah. the guys are one to one yeah he couldn't hold it out talk about saved by the bell 
So round six starts, and Sean is playing dirty at this point. Oh, yeah. And A-Kid's like, nah, I had to complete this game. Knocks him outside of the For ring, real. takes him down. That plaid suit out of this ring. <laughs> Nars, his knee and his ankle, they're totally hurting. And he did yeah. land this spinning elbow, but A-Kid mm. kicked out at two. It was really bad. He spun around. I couldn't believe he kicked out. I was <laughs> shocked. So A-Kid lands like this big flying super kick. <laughs> And then lands in the umpla, uh, umplata, I think it's um, how you say yeah, it. Omoplata. Brazil, yeah. Look at this. Do you Absolutely see what is happening? Insane. I was like, what the heck is going on here? Yeah, and he's, he's just holding on. You can see on the clock there, there's three seconds left. And he was just screaming in agony so, trying to hold yeah, on. Yeah, it's like your scapulas are being smashed together and like your pecs must feel like they're being torn apart. Yeah, and he's like smacking his chest on top of it. Like this is, it's a Bra uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu move. And dang, oh. that was it, man. Saved by the bell dude so so noam dar retains his yeah. cup he, he didn't lose it yeah. so he won i mean he didn't feel like he won yeah but he celebrated like he won he's dude, got he gets to retain it he's the champ and he was so tired he couldn't even stand at the end of this match it i mean he's like hanging on, <laughs> on <laughs> he was just beat well the quarterman should stop giving him a flask of whiskey over there in the corner know, of the break you see that too. dude yeah, yeah. Like, that's not going to help me. <laughs> not now. After. Yeah, after. right. Exactly. Yeah, you can't be doing that. It's going to slow you down way too much, dehydrate you. and Yeah. But you won. Who cares? All right. So here at Take Them to the Ring, we like to give each fight card a fight card rating. And this one was so, so much fun. Yeah. So much action. You couldn't look right. away. You just couldn't. Yeah. So we have five for Fight Forever. Four is This Is Awesome. Yep. Three. You still got you still it. still got it. Two is... What? And then one. Boring. Watch us. Of all. Yeah, <laughs> we're way better. So I would give this a solid four. This was a great episode. What about you? I would agree. I mean, it was the last match that was really like, okay, okay, you're carrying me through. But uh, yeah, yeah, this is awesome. Well, it was great seeing some up and comers come out too. You know, seeing Dawn make her rise up and. Yeah, some, it was a good episode for it sure. It was good. Yeah, it was I a, enjoyed it. It was a, you don't want to miss this one. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. You're amazing. You know, if, if you, you want, like what you see here. Yeah, we got more videos down below. Yeah, make sure you leave a comment, like, sh share, subscribe, all that good stuff. For more WrestleCat videos like this, just click that link right there <laughs> below. Make sure you check out our sweet yeah. merchandise. Some cool stuff. <laughs> Until next time, guys. Yeah. Lady J, Billy here. Don't stop believing. <laughs>